Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I would just like to warn people about this channel called Cherubim Church and expose some of the occultic blasphemies that are taking place on this channel. This person is claiming to be a Christian but if you look at some of the content on this channel it is Antichrist. Okay this guy calls himself Cherubim Church and he puts it in his thumbnails a lot yet on his website he's calling himself the Church of Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The church belongs to Jesus Christ. And the book of Ezekiel refers to Satan as being a cherub. So I find it pretty strange that this guy's calling himself Cherubim Church on his YouTube channel, yet on his website he's calling himself the Church of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to make any accusations here. But, I do find that pretty strange. So, let's get into this video now here, this video. And I'll show you the lies that have been propagated in this video. And by the way, it is his video, because you can see here in the comments section, someone gave him a compliment. And it is his video. Okay, this is the intro to the video, right? Look what is done here in this clip. Shows the black sun. And on the next scene, he shows people falling down to worship. I'm not going to make any accusations about that, but tell you something, a lot of people worship this black sun, friends. Okay, see, before I expose the lies in this video, I'd just like to let you know that I've had to edit this video, I've had to download the video and edit it, because I don't have a screen recorder working on my computer at the moment. So if you want to make sure that I'm not twisting this guy's video in any way, then you can watch it for yourself on his channel and I'm not twisting him out of context or anything like that but anyways as we start this video I would just like to let you know what Jesus said about the kingdom of God you know we see in Mark 10 14 but when Jesus saw it he was much displeased and said unto them suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God you see, for of such is the kingdom of God. And this guy, at the start of the video, he uses a child's voice. And he uses children throughout the video. And I'll show you exactly what's going on. And remember this video is in reference to the kingdom of the Antichrist. And he's using children throughout the video. So let's start the video and I'll expose the lies now. I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It deceived the inhabitants of the earth and forced all people to receive a mark on their right hands. Okay, let God be true and every man a liar. Right, see this beast that rises up out of the sea that he's referring to? It's not this beast that causes anyone to receive a mark, friends. Because this is the first beast. And if we read the context of the whole chapter, I encourage you to go and do so, because I can't display it on screen. Another beast rises up, and I'll read it. It's in Revelation 13, 11 to 12. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. You know, even the second beast does not cause all people to receive a mark because if we read right down to the bottom of the chapter it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause it as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and then it says and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and he says on their right hand, which is a lie, the Bible says in their right hand, and he also removes or in their foreheads. And I'm not even getting near done, friends, with the lies on this channel. It is the number of the beast. That number is six, six, six. Okay, that was just a continuation of the previous clip. And he has removed from the word of God because it says in the Bible that the number of the beast is the number of a man. And he shows here on screen 
a child showing the number of the beast. I tell you something, friends. The number of the beast is not the number of a child, it is the number of a man. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yes, you are. You see, Rick, whatever you do, no matter what, you don't mess with the New World Order. New World Order is this, and it's really very simple. So even if you're stupid, which you very may well be, you can understand. Right, they're doing this very quickly with their video editing, friends, but here he shows a child with an upside-down cross, and then listen to what scripture he quotes. And all the world wandered after the beast. And all the world wandered after the beast, and he has a child showing the upside-down cross. And remember, Jesus referred to the kingdom of God as being like little children. So what do you think he's trying to say here? He's trying to say that the kingdom of God is the world, and the kingdom of God wandered after the beast. And in this next clip, he's actually teaching that the kingdom of God worshipped the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Right, see this next clip that he puts in his video? It's the voices from a guy called Gon Shimura from the Face Like the Sun channel. Right, and I'll show you that these people are actually trying to teach that the new world order is the kingdom of God. And that this eye on top of the pyramid is going to destroy the kingdom of God in which they are calling the new world order. And they're trying to say that this eye on top of the pyramid is Jesus Christ. And they're doing it very subtly through video editing. And they're doing it quickly so that people can't see. And they're deceiving a lot of people. Jesus' name in the Hebrew, Yahshua, means the hand that destroys the establishment of of the eye. Right, let me show you from the original video what this guy Gon Shimura does. Jesus' name in the Hebrew, Yahshua, means the hand that destroys the establishment of the eye. Right, pay close attention to what this guy says next and what he does with Jesus' name. In other words, this whole New World Order thing that's being built all around us, while we can resist it for a time and we can expose what we can, guess who will ultimately destroy it? That's right, it's Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Right, he's just after saying this whole new world order thing that's been built all around us, and then he zooms into this eye here, uh, and remember that this eye is on top of the pyramid, and he says built all around us. And then he puts the name of Jesus Christ on this I, thus saying that this I is Jesus Christ. And you know what they're trying to teach? They're trying to teach that this beast in Revelation 13 11 is Jesus Christ, and that this beast is going to destroy the kingdom that Jesus is setting up all around us right now. And they're trying to say that Jesus' kingdom is the new world order that this beast will destroy. And they're doing this very subtly, and they're doing it through imagery. And I'll show you more evidence of this from this Cherubim Church video. Jesus' name in the Hebrew, Yahshua, means the hand that destroys the establishment of the eye. See how he says, destroy the establishment of the eye, and then he zooms into the two-eyed symbolism. Do you know the Lord has eyes, friends? The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. But anyways, let me show you the evidence now that they're teaching that the New World Order is the Kingdom of God. And that this beast in Revelation 13 11 is going to destroy the New World Order. In other words, 
this whole new world order thing that's being built all around us, while we can resist it for a time and we can expose what we can, guess who will ultimately destroy it? That's right. It's Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. new world order thing that's being built all around us, while we can resist it for a time and we can expose what we can, guess who will ultimately destroy it? That's right, it's Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Guess who will ultimately destroy it? That's right, it's Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Right, you must be able to see now that these people are trying to teach that the beast in Revelation 13, 11 is Jesus Christ. And I want to show you something, right? I made a comment on this Cherubim Church's channel in regards to a mirror video that he has up on his channel from the channel Round Saturn's Eye, in which this video has a lot of Antichrist propaganda in it. And Cherubim Church defended him. Right, let me tell you what I can see happening on YouTube, friends. What I see is little Jesuit infiltrators that are being put on smaller channels to mirror videos from the bigger channels that has the real agenda promoted from the bigger channels and what these little devils do is they put these mirror videos on their channels and they develop and create relationships with true born again Christians so that they can try and influence their opinion and sway opinion and get them sucked into the agenda that they're trying to promote and uh, I can see right through it, you know, I can see Christians mixed in with Masons on radio shows and things and there's no discernment no discernment at all and you ought to wake up true Christians and start reading the word of God and analysing content on other people's channels and see what people are preaching and uh, let me get into this video from this Round Saturn's Eye video and show you what's going on here and show you that these devils are preaching the agenda of Babylon. So who is the god of this world, the prince of the air? Who is the one that we pledge our allegiance to when we follow the patterns of this world? Who is the god of this world, the prince of the power of the air? Who is the one that we pledge our allegiance to when we follow the patterns of this world? And then he goes on to show the patterns of the world. And what are you doing as a viewer? You're following along to these patterns of the world as he shows you them. So he's trying to say that we all pledge our allegiance to the God of this world. You see that? You see that there? That yeah, it just happens to say, do you see that when it shows the clip of the We Should All Be Feminists? But anyways, I'm going to show you how this ties in with this channel, Cherubim Church. Expose a couple more of the lies on this and then we'll show how it ties in. Merging the male and the female, the masculine and the feminine. And that's part of breaking down the walls too in that metaphor of breaking down the boundaries between male and female to merge us into an androgynous creatures that is a complete abomination because God created us. God created us and then he shows a picture on screen of a female and a male. And what's he going to say next? In the beginning, male and female. On screen, female on the left, male on the right. Ah, it was just a coincidence. That division between genders is part of what we're made to be, what we're created to be. Yeah, and you just subtly have feminists in the bottom right hand corner when you say that, yeah sure. 
And then included in that, look how they've got Dio. D-I-O, which is Italian for God. How It's all hidden in plain sight. The revolution against God. Dio. It's right there in front of everyone's face. This is the agenda of Babylon. This is the agenda of Babylon, and then he shows this picture. And which is the same thumbnail as Cherubim Church put on his video. Which is different from the original video that RSC put on his channel. Same picture, but it's a different thumbnail, see? So it's highly likely that Cherubim Church put in that thumbnail from the part of the video that says this is the agenda of Babylon. So this is a plea to Cherubim Church, round Saturn's eye, face like the sun and all you shells out there to repent. You know, you need to get off YouTube and quit preaching your lies. You know, you do understand you're going to end up in hell forever for all your blasphemies against God. You know, and the sad thing is that these people actually know the true gospel and they've rejected it, they've decided to worship the beast and I uh, can only hope that they get saved. That's my heart's desire. But these people love evil friends, you know, even in this RSE video there was a part of the video where he says this is a rebellion and then he shows on screen off the wall and then goes on to say rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. He knows what he's doing and he loves deceiving people. He gets a kick out of it, you know, a thrill. And uh, these people are even taking money off people as well, some of these channels, you know, and that's absolutely shameful. Shameful, you should be ashamed. Ashamed of yourselves. And uh, you will be held accountable to a holy God and you'll be punished. And thank you everyone for watching this video. God bless.